So after an entire year living in Bali, today is the day that I'm leaving. Today, we're going to Bangkok, we're going to Thailand, and we're gonna be there for two and a half months. And there's a few reasons for that. We're gonna talk about five reasons why I've chosen to leave Bali and go to Thailand instead. But before we tackle number one, we need to get the bags into a taxi. <laughs> See you, I've got the wrong hand. Bye bye! <laughs> Our bag is well over 20 kilos. Oh, it's a good thing we pay for two. Oh. Look. Our local breakfast place that we come to every day, they just brought us some stuff. What did they bring us? I don't know. Oh, it's unknown. It's still packaged up. We'll have a look later. We're currently on the way to the airport and yeah, so the first reason is it's, it's busy here. It's getting really busy, especially in Changu and there's not really anywhere else in Bali that I'd want to live location wise, but there's traffic everywhere. Very cramped, very claustrophobic. It's just not nice, especially when you're on a bike and you're going somewhere that's supposed to take you 10 minutes and it takes you an hour. So reason number one, busy traffic. This is mine and Sarah's bag. Are all of those are Leela's bag? <laughs> we have a bit of a wait at the check-in desk, unfortunately. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Hello. Hi. Where you go? Uh, Bangkok. No segways on the plane. All right, we just got through customs and security, and honestly, that was the quickest I've ever got through customs and security. Insane, but now that we're through, I can tell you about reason number two. So reason number two is something that I've talked before on this channel, and so I'm not gonna go into too much depth, but it's because Bali's getting too expensive. As someone who's a beginning freelancer and someone who's not earning a ton of money, I'm not gonna talk about too much of the prices. You can have a look at that in my cost and prices of Bali in 2023 video. I'll link it up here. But uh, yeah, for accommodation is tripled in price. Food has gone up everywhere you know for me it's just not financially viable I can travel with that amount of money and see more places so that's what we're going to do but now let's go find the plane so after grabbing some food in the cafe and doing a little bit of work and editing a photo that looks like this we've made it to the gate and we're just getting on the plane and once we're on the plane I'll tell you reason number three of why I thought it was a good idea to leave Bali We're safely on the plane, we're safely in the air, and it's time for reason number three of why I plan to leave Bali. So basically, back in November, I went to Vietnam. I vlogged the entire thing. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you've just watched it. If not, you have an entire series to go and watch. After being in Bali for over a year and being in Vietnam for like three weeks, I really enjoyed it. It was really nice to experience another culture, and I want to do that everywhere. I'm 28. For some of you that might not seem young, but for me, I feel very young to be stuck in one place. And it's difficult in Bali because you get stuck in a routine, especially when you're just in Chengdu, you're working, you're not really doing much, which means you're doing the Monday to Friday, sometimes Saturday, Sunday grind, whatnot. But you know, it's nice to spread your wings and go meet a ton of people. And yep, I think that rounds up reason three pretty well. Too young, want to see the world, don't want to get stuck in a routine anymore. Next stop, Bangkok. Are you happy for the safe landing? Yes, I'm nervous and I've been much safer on the ground, honestly. We're always safer on the ground. We're the last ones off the plane. <laughs> Thank you. Bye -bye. So we just touched down in Thailand. This is my I wanted to say my 25th or 26th country, but my list says 23rd. I'm not sure. Either way, we got to get through customs, get a visa, and get a SIM card so that we can order a grab to the hotel. So that's next on the agenda. Cash acquired. Next thing on the list is getting a cab to the hotel. Uh, international exit 426 bar. My driver is on the way, and I cannot pronounce his name. <laughs> Can't even read his name. I think I'm good with the 60 baht one. Why 16 days? Did no, no, I took the 600 ah, baht. Okay, okay. The 30 gigabytes. Perfect, yeah, same, yeah. Same. Okay. For two, right? For two, yeah. So that was very successful. If you want to know, for a UK passport and a Swiss passport, you actually get 45 days on arrival here in Thailand. And as far as I'm aware, you can extend it for another 45 days if you go to an immigration office. And the SIM card was pretty cheap. It was 600 baht, which is, I don't know, like, uh, 15 bucks for 30 gigabyte for the month with loads of unlimited perks as well so it's pretty decent oh, smell that fresh tire <laughs> it's 
pretty loud out here, but like I promised, here's reason for why I left Bali, and that's because I want to test out some other digital nomad hubs and places. Bali's a famous one, but it's not the only one. And actually, I think there may be better out there. I need to try them, so that's what we're doing. And I actually think, between me and me, Bangkok might be one that I really like. So that's why I've come here. I want to test out Bangkok, see what that's like. And then after that, we've got lots of digital nomad places to come to. But yeah, we want to try Colombia and uh, a few other places as well, like Mexico, and just see what other digital nomad places are like, because although we love Bali as a digital nomad place, despite the busyness and the expense, there's more to see. So we're going to go do that. All right, so our grab is almost here, and uh, we're going to go to the hotel now, check in, and once we're in the room and settle down, I'll give you the final reason as to why I left Bali. Hello. Well, we made it home. He's our next home for the next two weeks. And I'll keep him here. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I'll see you in the room. 27 kilo. Oh, that's cute. Okay, quick room tour. Bed, front door, mirror, TV, desk, fridge, wardrobe, funky, wet room, bathroom. Balcony, I think. And that's it for Ryan's tour. <laughs> okay, so reason number five why I left Bali. It's because of you guys. I want to travel vlog and honestly, living in Bali is not traveling. <laughs> You're having to think about content to go and make. You're not just traveling and making content. And on top of that, it would be incredibly boring if I kept making Bali content. And on top of that, Bali content performs well with an Indonesian audience, which for monetary value, isn't really worth it. So I got so much more monetary value out of Vietnam, even though it's just a little bit still at the moment, it's so much more than if it was an Indonesian audience, because I get the USA, the UK and stuff. But anyway, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one in Bangkok, Thailand.